A World Economic Forum Agenda contributor recently gave everyone a coming attractions of the next crisis that elites seek to exploit in order to expand their global governance schemes. Mariana Mazzucato, who contributes to the unelected body of globalist elites, said on a WEF panel that climate change is too abstract for people to understand, but the coming water crisis is something that will deeply impact everyone. That's also of course true with COVID, right, she said. We are all only as healthy as our neighbor is on our street and our city and our region, and our nation and globally, she claimed. Did we solve that, she asked rhetorically. Did we actually manage to vaccinate everyone in the world? No. So highlighting water as a global commons and what it means to work together and see it both out of that kind of global commons perspective, but also the self-interest perspective, it does have that parallel. It's not only important, but it's also important because we haven't managed to solve those problems, which had similar attributes, she continued. And water is something that people understand. Climate change is a bit abstract. Some people understand it really well, some understand it a bit. Some just don't understand it. Water, every kid knows how important it's to have water, she continued. When you're playing football and you're thirsty, you need water. So there's also something about really getting citizen engagement around this and really in some ways experimenting with this notion of the common good. Can we actually deliver this time in ways that we have failed miserably? Other times, and hopefully we won't keep failing on the other things, but anyway. This is a clear signal that WEF globalists are continuing to seek more immediate levers in order to manipulate human behavior. Water, a necessary sustenance for human life, is the most basic button that these elitists can press in order to get them to conform to their nefarious socialist agenda. The World Economic Forum, for its part, expands on the water crisis on its official website. Water-related crises around the world show that current systems of water management are unsuited for a world altered by global warming. Water use restrictions, power cuts and other stopgap measures are no longer fit for purpose. The task now is to understand the links between water, climate change and biodiversity loss, and to properly govern water as a global common good. The world needs to clearly define its plans, as this will help governments steer innovation and know-how towards meeting critical goals. The floods, droughts, heat waves, and fires that are devastating many parts of the world underscore two fundamental facts, the WEF added. First, damage to freshwater supplies is increasingly straining human societies, especially the poor, with far-reaching implications for economic, social, and political stability. Second, the combined impact of today's extreme conditions are unprecedented in human history, and are overwhelming policymakers' ability to respond. As usual, the World Economic Forum seeks to exploit the alleged water crisis to push for international socialist policies. In tackling these global challenges, we must hardware the principles of equity and justice into whatever new arrangements we devise, the WEF states. No community can thrive without a reliable supply of clean water. But safeguarding this global common good requires new policies and systems. Public health statistics show that 99% fewer people are dying from natural disaster than 100 years ago.